So here we have a standard graphing type of situation where we're graphing the motion of a particular object. In this case, it's a car. And probably the best way to do this is to draw a velocity time graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw our axes. And here our axis is going to be time on this axis. And it's going to be velocity on that axis. Now, if you look at the total time, the total time is around 17 seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this up into up to 20 seconds, like so. We know that our velocity at the maximum is 30. So we're going to also do the same thing on the y-axis. And so we have 10 and 20 and 30. And of course, this is in meters per second, and this is in seconds. What we now need to do is to graph that motion. And we're told it starts at rest and goes to 30 meters per second in five seconds. So that means we're getting up to this particular point over here. And so it's a constant acceleration, so we get that section there. We're then told it maintains that velocity for 10 seconds, so that means we get up to 15 meters per second, which is that right there. And then finally, we're told that it slows down to a stop within two seconds. So that's going to be at a point over here, and that's going to give you a line over here. And of course, this value here is 17 seconds, like so. And we're asked two things. We're asked, first of all, what is the greatest acceleration? And secondly, what is the total displacement? Well, the greatest acceleration is where the graph is the steepest. So we have here acceleration here. Here we have negative acceleration here, but the size or the steepness of this line is greater. So this is the section we're interested in. So now let's work out our acceleration in this section. And our acceleration is simply the rise over run of this section. So we go final minus initial, which is 0 minus 30 over the time, which is 2, which gives us negative 15 meters per second squared. So now that gives us our acceleration. We now need to determine the displacement. And the displacement is simply worked out by the total area underneath the graph. So in and for those who do calculus, then you know that the area under the graph is the integral of this particular graph. Now, how do we work out the area? Well, this area here is simply a trapezium. And the trapezium area, in this case, is equal to half a plus b multiplied by the height. So that gives me one half. Now, a here is that distance over here, which is going to be 10 seconds. The bottom here is 17 seconds. And of course, the vertical height is equal to 30. Now, when you work that out, you're going to get 15, which is the half times 30, multiplied by the 27, and you're going to get an answer of 81 meters. So there you go. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care. Bye for now.